Bill from Harlow's Corner 101 here. All right, I'm in a kind of a strange predicament. Well, not too strange, but uh, crappy, really, to say the least. This uh, woman just bought this house. She came down from up north. The house is on a slab. When they laid the, um, after the slab was poured and the plumbing was getting done, whoever put the toilet bowl's flange in was, uh, was uh, horrible and left it jacked up a good quarter of an inch probably a little more but about a quarter of an inch on the facing the toilet bowl on the right hand side at the same time the slab underneath the toilet bowl from left to right is uh, basically a peak so the toilet bowl sits on this peak this is the front this is the back of the toilet where the tank is sits on the peak and kind of rocks like that because now remember the peak is left to right and the toilet bowl is one of those so now on top of a flange jacking it that way you got the kind of the floor doing that with it well, how do you fix that without chopping the floor? Well, here's what I'm going to do. Back home in Long Island, we would set our toilets in certain jurisdictions on plaster of Paris. Uh, I'm not a big fan of anything between the toilets, the floor and the toilet, because once the wax seal goes, it holds in water and you don't know you have a bad wax seal. So if you have, and it's also very porous and kind of mold and mildew and all that crap. So cork is the same way. These things will hold in that water. So what I'm going to do nevertheless is get plaster of Paris. Hopefully I can find it down here. I would hope so. I would think so, but I don't know. I don't look for it. Not down here anyway. And I'm going to set the toilet on the plaster of Paris so that becomes, it levels itself. But I'm not going to put it in the back of the toilet. I'm going to leave it off the back of the toilet just enough so if the wax seal goes, when it goes, it'll come out the back and I told the woman to look for it. Um, yeah, it's not something you have to look for every day, but the wax seal will eventually wear down. You know, no one knows when, but especially with a setup like it is, it's going to wear a little faster, especially on that right hand side. So I'll leave the plaster of Paris off in the back. You can't see a gap because it's in the back by the wall, but the water will escape and she'll definitely notice that. That is my solution. Uh, my boss, before I told him that, I was telling him what was going on like I just told you. And he said, well, put it back together the way it is and leave. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I said, exactly what I just told you. Plaster of Paris, blah, 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 blah. All right, go ahead and do it. I mean, that's the right thing to do. Aren't we trying to fix this shit? I'm not saying it's ideal, but this woman's not getting... She just moved in. She doesn't have the money for me to chop up a slab and pull up the linoleum and pull out the cabinet and blah, 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 blah. She doesn't have that kind of money. So let's do what we can for the lady. Ah. Oh. Very good. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. What do you think? Leave your comments, posts, and remember to subscribe to Hall's Corner 101. Now, seriously, what do you, what do you think about that? Anybody out there has any uh, you know, opinions about it or just any plumbers that might see this? What do you think? You think I'm going to hack it up or I'm going to help the lady out? Personally, I consider it partially packing it up while I'm helping a lady out, but, and I say hacking it up partially because the right thing to do would be to remove the flange and put a new one in it, because you don't have the money. Another reason I'm out of business, because all is running back and forth will definitely put you out of business if you're not making any money on this call. Skinny bop bop bop, she blows you away. My minions, my minions, fuck you, my minions. Carlos Corner 101, want to hear a little bit of tunage? A little ZZ action, let's try the other channel first.
My seatbelt's holding me down. Why are you hitting your brake? Why are you hitting your brake? Why are you hitting your brake? I'll tell you why I'm hitting my brake because I'm going to make a right hand turn and in the middle of the right hand turn I'm going to slap on my blinker, asshole. Cool. Nice truck, buddy boy. Dodge Ram, real nice truck, pulling a trailer, and because Dodge does not do, nor does Chevy, what Ford does, and that would be to give it a rake when not in tow, so when it goes to tow, we level it out, Dodge and Chevy don't do that, they start off level, and what was that truck doing? Dog ass down the road. <laughs> that was my interpretation of a dog yelping, by the way. I thought it was good. What'd you guys think about my skinny bob video the other night? <laughs> my, 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 my ten year old's like, Daddy, it was skinny bob. So Robert, skinny bob. I know you're Robert, and you're a skinny bean, but you're skinny Robert. Skinny bob is like an alien. I think he actually may be your father. Smoke some doobage, man. Sit back. Make love, not war. Peace, brothers. In here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Wow, that's not a cigarette place anymore. What happened? Holy shit, there was always an old NASCAR out there, and that's been a tobacco place since I've been here, and now it's we buy gold. We stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going round. Yeah. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speaking their minds. Dropping some acid and smoking the hooch. And so out of their minds that it stops killing. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going round. Yeah! Giddy up, biatch! Why'd you... Why'd you come out in front of me? Yeah, that lane over here that I'm getting in. It's a nice truck, alright? You're lucky. You're lucky. It's a Ford. Dropping acid like you eat heaps on Easter. Now the lines of man come and take you away. That's, that, that's true now. Everybody look what's going down. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. What's that sound? Do it, play it.
Christmas music as much as the next guy, but play that shit around Christmas. It's still fucking November. I want to hear good old fashioned rock and fucking roll. Give me some 80s rock and roll now. That's not it. Turkey here, bitch. Come on, old man, drive. I have an old man in front of me, an old man next to me. Hey, hey, hey. I had the heat blasting this morning because I was freezing my ass off, but now I have the air conditioning on. Oh, yeah, I won't get too sick. <laughs> By the way, Steph, that airplane mode is still working flawlessly. Except I had to realize, I didn't realize this, and I'm sure this is why I was very, excuse me, low, uh, audio-wise. Because for some reason, as soon as I hit airplane mode, the Bluetooth disengages, but you can re-engage re it. So I don't really know what that's about. Nevertheless, I've realized it. And I've stopped it. It won't ever happen again. Never. Really? You're a dick. Ow. Fuck it. Fuck it! Yeah, the guy behind me is pissed I didn't go through a red light. Sorry, buddy, I didn't like that one. Ah. Well, I can't catch a break with these things. Now, if I was in my truck, you probably would have heard that. You might, you might have heard that. I, I gunned it. Oh, the Christmas trees are for sale. Granddaddy's trees. Every year this guy's over here. Let me tell you something, Granddaddy. Those trees have been cut down already. How long do you think they're going to last? Not too long. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 
doesn't think that we need to really take on board as conservatives if we hold the fuck up. Local nationwide insurance agent. Two channels. Visit nationwidescagent.com to find the agent nearest you. Everything else is either fucking Christmas shit or bullshit. Keep saying that every day. Tomorrow is going to be cold. The thing is, now that I'm here. Jeez, even Lowe's is selling fucking Christmas trees. Everybody's here. Your beast of burden. Professionals, people. I'm a professional. Your beast of burden. For you to make a love to me. Fucking window is open when I do that. And that guy looked right at me like I'm a dick. Guess what? I'm a dick. All right, this is Bill from Hall's Corner 101. Saying I go to Lowe's, catch on a flip.